You ready to see some more fourth year school of industrial design yeah. projects? Yes, so please. So cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we've moved on to another division. Allow me to introduce Alan Malta. What, uh, what is your project? So basically, after a visit to the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources, I found a gap in their system which revolved around the breathing of the air quality that, that the firefighters are breathing on the fire line. Uh -huh. And because it's too hot for them to wear a mask at all times, I want to develop a project that would allow them to, you know, have the safety of of being warned when there's something can't, they can't necessarily see, okay. but of course knowing that it's there. And um, what types of things can pose that, that so problem? So for example, one of the, one of the um, greater dangers is poison ivy. So when you breathe in poison ivy, if you think of what the effects are on your skin topically, mm -hmm. um, it can do the same thing internally, which can essentially be fatal. When it's burning? Yes, exactly. Really? I didn't know that. So this would alert you? So this would alert you, and then from that, it would direct you to the closest firefighter near to you okay. um, that's in the safer area. Okay, so we've got a few more projects to show you. I'll invite Victoria Dam to come on in and explain her project that is geared towards firefighters, but my brother thinks this would be great to have at the hunt camp mm -hmm. after a couple of days of yes. not being able to shower. What is your project? Is that true? Um, so this is a portable shower system for the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources. There are forest firefighters. Um, so why I took on this project in particular was because um, I did get to take a look at their old one and it's really large and it's really heavy and it's really um, not very functional either. So I took a different approach to it to make it more um, it looks a little bit nicer, it's right. more functional, um, there's uh, storage compartments in there and then there are little features like you can adjust the temperature and the water pressure. And stuff okay, like that. So, so they can actually have hot water, a nice yes, hot they shower. Do. Yes, and it's, uh, yeah, it's okay. a tankless water heating as well, so they have mm -hmm. a hot water on demand while they shower. Okay. Let's call in Lindsay Wilcox next. She, uh, what, what, uh, this is a very unusual looking project here, what have you got? So I designed an air assisted backpack pump. So what this is used for is to douse embers still burning after a main fire has been put out. Okay. Um, so what's different about this one is that this uses a rotary piston pump located in here. Mm -hmm. So by turning this crank, you pump air into a bladder to pressurize it, and then that allows you to squeeze a trigger and pump water out on demand. Okay. So it's a lot easier, safer, and uh, more comfortable to wear. Okay. And the last contraption that we've got to, uh, to show you is created by Jamie McFarlane. What have we got here, Jamie? Uh, so I've designed a uh, furniture unit for firefighters in remote line camps. Mm -hmm. And uh, currently they spend up to three hours making furniture with a chainsaw out of fallen trees. And so my project uh, they would just have to do this. That. <laughs> it seems so. a lot easier than following, finding down exactly. trees and yeah. using a chainsaw. Now it does transform into one other thing, right? Yeah, so it doubles as a table as well. So you release the quick release, it slides up the backrest, mm -hmm. and then you clamp it back down, and you've got a table. Okay. Where did the idea for, for this come from? Um, basically, I saw an old picture of one of their makeshift picnic tables. So it was made out of old trees. And uh, I just sort of thought it seemed like a sort of archaic solution and maybe they could use something a little more high tech. Okay, and if it were created, what, uh, what material would you want to make it out of? Um, it would be made out of uh, a few different types of metals and the tabletop and seat would be made out of plastic. Okay, yeah. very cool. Did you enjoy your four-year program? Uh, I loved it, yeah, it was great. Yeah. yeah. So now we just gotta find a job. Of course, yeah. <laughs> All right, so the uh, School of Industrial Design will have their graduation exhibit displayed here at Carleton University until uh, tonight. Everything wraps up, so if you'd like to come by and check it out, by all means, do so.